In these examples, we're going to combine some signed numbers with different orders of operation. So let's take a look and see in part A how we would address this problem. This looks very confusing with the signed numbers and the fractions and all of that. So what I'm going to do is take this first part because it's negative 10 times 1 fifth times 8, which is really negative 10 times 1 times 8 all over 5. And then I can subtract 3 from that result. So negative 10 times 1 times 8 is negative 80. I have a negative times a positive divided by 5 and then subtract 3. So I'm still working with this fraction, which is really division. Negative 80 divided by 5 is going to be a negative. 80 divided by 5 is 16 minus 3. So if I'm at negative 16 on the number line and I subtract 3, I'm going to move to the left three places. That gives me negative 19 as a final result. In this problem, I already have a fraction bar that separates a couple of signed numbers that we're going to work with here and then the denominator. So let's see how we would combine. First of all, 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2. I'm going to address the exponents, 8, and then plus a negative 10 will be a minus 10 divided by negative 4. If I take 8 and I subtract 10, I'm going to start at 8 on the number line and subtract 10. That's going to give me a negative 2. I'm still dividing by negative 4. If I have a negative divided by a negative, my result is going to be positive, And 2 fourths reduces to 1 half, which is our final result.